Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Corky and welcome to the penultimate episode of season one of Life After Lasso. It's been a little bit up and down through this first season. Um, some of the games certainly haven't gone our way, some of the results haven't gone our way. Um, we're going to start very quickly with showing you the goals from the games this month and then we'll bring you the highlights from the game against Bournemouth. Um, as you can see here, the opening game we've had a very humbling, a very humiliating defeat, 7-1 at home to Chelsea, uh, Jamie Tart scoring the only goal for ourselves here. We're not going to sit through seven goals from Chelsea, we'll show you the goal here from Jamie Tart. Um, and it, I mean the, the game as you can see there from the defence, Zorro, Jan Mas, Isaac McAdoo all with less than a 6.0 average rating. Um, Thierry Zorro is pretty much um, um, finished with him we see. Obasanya gets in there, um, good hand from Sanchez, the ball, the fall, the ball falls back to Jamie Tart who puts it in for our only goal. We were already 3-0 down, I think it was at that stage. 4-0 um, down actually, just looking at it. Um, so a very disappointing defeat um, from that game. We picked ourselves up against Nottingham Forest um, with a 4-2 victory away from home. As I, as I was saying about Thierry Zorro, very much at fault for at least four of the goals in the Chelsea game. So he's been dropped. Um, it's very unlikely that he'll, he'll make his way back in. But we, we followed up with a good result against Nottingham Forest away from him. As you see here, Arlo Dixon chasing down the line, but all the way. Gets across into Jamie Turk, who just nudges a header past a keeper at the near post. Canterbury on the left-hand side, puts a ball back to Danny Rojas, makes a play for the near post, and puts it in in the far corner to make it 2-0 on the half hour. You see in the second uh, second half here, McAdoo gets the ball into Jamie Tart. He makes a run down the line, tips it off to Bassania, feeds it through that uh, quarter of uncertain day, as you would call it. And Danny Rojas stays in to make it 3 0. Canterbury then, uh, with a little ball forward in uh, Richard. A nice pass from Matlar into Bassania. He takes it on the first time, half volley, and makes it 4 0. 78 minutes in the game, we do uh, let it slip a little bit. Uh, Alanga plays a nice ball into a. Uh, I won't any, can never pronounce that. Um, and he shoots from the edge of the box to make it 4 1. And two minutes left in normal time. And you see uh, Divic Origi there scoring with a header at the back post from the corner. So we let two goals slip, it was disappointing, but you know what? We still got the three points, and that's where it matters. We then went on to host Burnley at home. As you can see, an incredibly good result here. We've come away with a 6 0 victory. Uh, Canterbury again involved um, very much in this game. He's, he's He's been quite crucial to us in recent games. Um, as we see here, Jamie Tart steals the ball from Phillips, plays the ball back to Danny Rojas, who sneaks in and puts it past Norwich for 1 0. That's only six minutes into the game. Uh, just before half time, Obasanya gets the ball to the Sean McLaur, plays it left to Canterbury, and he draws it home for 2 0. He is picking up a little bit of a knock there. Um, and he did have to miss out, and uh, is likely to miss out the next game. We see Obasanya breaking down the right hand side, fires it low and hard across the front of the keeper, and goes in off the foot of the post. Richard Montlar plays a short free kick to Kukoc, finds Bumbercatch on the edge area, and just tucks it into the bottom corner. I think that's 4 or 5 now. Kukoc with the corner, ball comes back out, goes to by Burke. Bumbercatch gets it back to Kukoc, and Daniel has sneaks in, stays on side to make it 5 now. And as we see here, plenty of pressure on the defence. It's a poor back pass to find Obasanya. One on one with a goal keeper in the 90th minute. And he makes it 6-0. So very, very good result um, in that game. We are about to play Bournemouth in the next game. Um, we'll go to our tactical meeting first. We'll just set our opposition instructions. Looking at the team, we are pretty much full strength. The only change I want to make here, I want to bring Kukoc back in for Colin Hughes. Um, Richard playing in centre midfield, Bomber Catch playing very well in defensive midfield as well. Um, with that knock to uh, Canterbury, we are bringing Goodman back in at left back. We have McAdoo and Barishile in at centre back. Yamas has picked up an injury, um, a torn abdominal, abdominal muscle, so he's going to be out for two months. Effectively, his season is really over at, that, at this stage. Um, Danny Rojas has picked up a knock in training as well. He is going to be missing for a couple of days. But we're going to uh, give him a little rest anyway. He would be, uh, I mean, he, he could probably play. He should be monitored. He could play. We're not going to risk him. We're just going to keep him on the bench. And if we need to throw him in in desperate situation, then we will do so. So we're going to go ahead and play against Bournemouth. We're going to get the, the team lined up. I've decided to change the, the team talks um, 
I've left that now up to Coach Beard to take care of. Um, so he said, I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. Um, some of the players, I, I, I've had harsh words. Some of the players haven't been happy with my harsh words. And they've complained, so I've just decided to let Coach Beard do his thing. Uh, it's a nice header from Barashile, flicked on by Goodman. Comes back to Bomber catch the centre mid, finds Kukoc. He's going to make a break down the left hand side. He's going to lose out the throw right there. And kick the pressure on. Uh, Kirkez nearly runs the ball wide. He's got an awful lot of time to just uh, take his time there. It's an essay playing it back to Kirkez. Makes a break down the left hand side. It's cut out by Arlo Dixon. It's a back to Bomber catch in the centre of the field. He's making a drive forward, plays a loose pass. Can't find McCracken, picked up by Max Arms. Bomber catch recovers the ball, finds it with Sanya. We're looking for Richard, finds him a Kraken coming in on the left hand side. Is he going to go low and hard? He's going to score. And we've hit the wrong button. <laughs> we've been hitting that button. Um, but as that pops up, yes, of course, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear your feedback and all the rest. We very much appreciate it and it helps us to bring more content like this. Uh, but a nice pass there from Richard into McCracken. Low and hard into the bottom corner, uh, kind of through the, the centre of the goal really. And we are 1-0 up with inside 3 minutes. So that's a pleasing start for us. Um, that puts us on 35 games. Moves us up in the 6th place um, in the Europa League contention at this stage. We have Richard here, take the free kick. Is it going to go? He's going to look to the back post to find Jamie Tart and he heads the ball over the bar. Uh, we're around 16 minutes in, 20 minutes. We are very much in control of this game, as you can see here from the match momentum. All the, the five minute blocks are all in our favour, so we're doing very well to control the game as it is. An awful lot of play happening in the centre midfield, not an awful lot happening in our defensive third, which is also pleasing to see. Uh, Brentford did, um, I think Brentford did win their last game and Aston Villa I think lost um, so we've got a little bit of a, a cushion there uh, one nil at half time that, that's pleasing uh, things are going well I know you're capable of better thank you coach Beard uh, we'll change the mentality up a little bit we'll go from positive to attack and now we're still we're in this sentence here we, we've controlled pretty much the whole game uh, Bournemouth have not been in it really at all uh, Phil plays the ball forward. Can, the Kraken uh, can't win his challenge either. It's up by Bumber Catch. Falls to Max Arms. Can we make a tackle? Sinestra is in one on one. He's drilled it underneath O'Brien. That is disappointing. The man will. That's very disappointing. You see here, Bumber Catch wins his header. Richard plays a loose pass. Intercepted by Max Arms. He moves the ball into Sinestra. And it just goes under and through the arms of O'Brien. That is a poor bit of goalkeeping, I really think. Uh, I mean, O'Brien has got good potential. Um, but I really think maybe we should go shopping for a, a first-choice goalkeeper. To get a, a top-quality goalkeeper, we're going to have to pay big money. I'm not sure if we want to do that. We do have three goalkeepers as well at the club already. We kind of we, we want at least one of them. In, in the spirit of, of the... The TV show, we, we want to keep at least one of those goalkeepers um, at the club, as, particularly as first choice. Jamie Tart gets on to this ball, it's a good save from Meadow. Um, I thought there might have been a shout for a penalty there, but it wasn't to be. Um, we really got to, we're, we're not involved in this at all. There's action happening, there's a corner. Kukoc is not playing well, we will bring in Colin Hughes. We might also bring in Tyler Shannon. Richard is playing well. Bumbercats is playing very well. Do not bring. Do not. Let's uh, switch it up and do this instead. Uh, Jimmy Tart seems to be unaffected by Nick. Jimmy Tart could be carrying an injury. We'll bring in these two for now. Let's see if we can't get on something of a more attacking front. Um, a draw will still keep us in the sixth place. We need to make some changes. We'll pause the game. Um, who are we looking at? Who's not playing well? Who needs a rest? Samuel Bassania needs to come out. Bring Coburn in. 
Uh, Jimmy Tart, unaffected by knock. You're on a yellow card. You're on a 6.0 written. You're not playing well. Uh, they bring out Bumbercatch or they bring out Dixon. Two of them are playing very well. Dixon's on a yellow card. I'm going to go with that. So let's see if we can't take this game by a scruff of the neck. Let's see if we can't get a winner. I mean, Bournemouth are they're, they're mint table. We feel like we should be beating them quite comfortably. We did so earlier in the season. This is going to be disappointing if it ends like this. Interception by McAdoo. Daniel Haas comes it back there by Schule. Looks left from a Kraken. Cuts inside. Back to Barry Schule. Across to McAdoo. Has one to Saka, has he got space to run? Sam plays a 1 2. Nice ball forward to Kluver. Can we get a cross in? Danny Rojas is there, get him. There's a flag for offside. Don't, don't let it be. I'm sure the ball will come back. I'm sure Kluver was onside. It's off. Oh. Oh. It is off. Granted, it's a correct decision. Demand more. We gotta, we gotta get back into this, boys. We're doing very poorly here. It's well played by Barashile. Danny Rojas finds Tyler Shannon. Looks left, looks to the right for Coburn. Can he take on his man? He sits him down and then immediately goes backwards. Plays a, a very long one two with. I can't use fires over, but a very long one two with. Armand Basaka plays the ball back to Colin Hughes, who pulls a good save out of the goalkeeper. It's a corner in from Shannon. Bruce Cook gets it clear. Finds Alex Scott. Barry Schiele with the Goodman. A little bit of a step over there, comes to nothing. We're deep, we're getting into deep territory and stoppage time. Comes to McCracken. Can I just drill it? Just drill it. Bumber catch, get on! Bomber catch might have just stolen the points for us. I'm pleased with the decision to keep him on instead of um, taking him off. He rattles around, it's a good block. Bomber catch gets on the end of it and buries it. So, do you want to see, boys? Late winners. Well, we made that hard work for ourselves, really. Um, Bumbercats and Cuckoo's distressed. Um, I'm, sat I'm satisfied with what I saw, but let's not be complacent. Thanks, coach. Um, so we are, we've moved up in the sixth place. We are three points behind Arsenal. There are only three games left to go. Man City have been confirmed as champions they are 11 points ahead of Liverpool and Man uh, who uh, have played a game extra can only pick up a maximum 9 points so that 11 point cushion has guaranteed the league title for Man City uh, Jamie Tart is injured for up to 10 days Bummer Catch Beard prefers Bummer Catch to Camavinga I mean it's a big shout but yeah, maybe. Chelsea did beat Man City in the, the final game there. Um, so Chelsea have actually jumped up into third ahead of Man United. Um, Arsenal are sitting in fifth. We are sitting in sixth. One point ahead of Brentford. Three points ahead of Aston Villa. And we can hopefully secure European football in the next two games. If it, if it goes to goal difference, we are far superior on, As on Brentford. Um, and we have a slightly better goal difference than Aston Villa. So there are going to be three games left for the final episode. We play Newcastle, we play West Ham, and then the final game against Sheffield United, which will, these three games will determine our European fate. With Man City winning the, uh, with Man City winning the league, um, there is a spot has gone to the league for uh, Man City did win the Carabao Cup so that European place for the conference Europa Conference League has gone to the league so 
sixth place, seventh place will be um, a European qualifier as well. Um, but that is it for this episode. We will be back in the final episode of the season. Uh, of course, as mentioned earlier, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. It all helps. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. We will be back for the final three games. We'll bring you goals from uh, goals and highlights. We'll bring you the goals from Newcastle, West Ham. We'll bring you the highlights from Sheffield United as well. And then we'll start to look forward to season two. That is it from us. In the meantime, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one and take care. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback as well. You can check out one of these recommended videos. We will see you in the next one. Thank you and take care.